Kirby Allison, founder of The Hangar Project. Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about our latest special project. Basically, what is a digital trunk show? A La Vabre Cadet is easily one of the world's finest glove makers. We are so impressed with the quality of their gloves that actually all of our made-to-order gloves are now gonna be exclusively La Vabre Cadet, but we really wanted to bring the high end of their capabilities to our customers in a very kind of direct and authentic way. And so the purpose of this special project is to allow you to commission a pair of semi-bespoke clubs made specifically for you based on your hand tracings and a selection of different fabrics with some really absolutely unique and rare detailing that you're only gonna find when working directly with a company like that. So what is it that really sets apart a Love Ever Cadet glove from other gloves? And it really boils down to two things. One, access to materials. And then second, the uh, workmanship that you see and the different hand work in the glove. So through our special project, we're basically offering access to two different materials. The first being kid skin, which we're offering both in a polished kid skin and a suede kid skin. And then second being peccary. Uh, we have it available in three colors, uh, and then more importantly, we're offering it uh, with a one-piece pattern and a two-piece pattern. So let's go through these uh, one at a time. So La Vabre Cadet is one of the few glove makers out there uh, that is still making gloves out of kid skin. Kid skin comes from baby goat, whereas Napa comes from uh, baby lamb. Kid skin is generally considered to be the finer material because it's softer and has a more finesse than, uh, than lambskin does. Now, all the pricing is uh, detailed on the website, but the kit skin is going to be $395 uh, retail for the inside stitching. And if you want the outside stitching by hand uh, with corks, uh, that's an additional $100 uh, for $495. Both are available in the polished kit skin and the suede kit skin, and you can do it with a silk or a cashmere lining. Now the king of all materials for glove making, without question, is peccary. Now peccary is a small South American rodent and it's incredibly difficult to find in large enough pieces. What's really unique about what we're offering in our special project is the opportunity to have peccary gloves made out of a one-piece pattern. Now normally because of the difficulty in sourcing this material, it's all but impossible to find a large enough piece of the appropriate quality to allow the pattern to be made from a single piece. Normally, most peccary gloves are cut from a two-piece pattern. Now, with a one-piece pattern, again, the glove is cut from a single piece of peccary and has no interior seam. Now, with this glove, you really would only do it with an outside stitch, with corks, um, and by hand. And the reason is because this glove being unlined, you don't want any stitching on the interior of the glove because that would be uncomfortable. But we have this available in both dark brown, kind of the more traditional cork, and then of course dark gray, which is an absolutely unique color that you're only gonna find through bespoke programs. The Peccary One Piece is really a collector's item. It's quite expensive. This is $995. And then if you want a two-piece Peccary, again, it's gonna be $795 for that. Again, both come fully uh, hand-stitched, and then you can have up to three initials monogrammed uh, on the glove at no additional cost. You know, this is a glove that we would love to be able to offer uh, through a ready-to-wear program in one piece, but you know, honestly, it's just way too expensive. And that's why I'm very excited to be able to offer this to you guys through a made-to-order program. You have just a detail and a finesse to the glove that you don't find anywhere else. Even their borders are hand-stitched. You can see that right here. They even have a blind stitching they can do. So just the detail of the handwork is really quite exceptional. So another uh, important quality distinction in the Levera Cadet gloves is that the lining is uh, not attached via a glue. Now the reason that is important is because anytime that you've got glue in a garment, it is longevity is compromised. And so the way that the Lavre Cadet gloves are actually constructed is really it's two gloves in one. The silk lining is sewn as one piece and then inserted into the outer and then tacked on using thread at the fingers and then on the interior of the glove. These gloves are available in both a silk and cashmere lining and then the peccary of course uh, you would never want to line this because uh, it's such a soft plush material. Now the outside stitching is going to be available with full corks which are the small little uh, triangular pattern pieces you find in between the fingers. And the benefit of corks is that it just allows the glove to stretch um, more at the joints uh, for a more comfortable fit. Now traditionally you don't do corks on the inside stitch uh, because it's not necessary, but if you really do want corks 
uh, on your inside stitch glove, we can offer that for 95 additional dollars. So you're only gonna get this level of detail working with a company like Le Vebre Cadet, and even then, uh, leveraging kind of our close relationship with the firm is the only way that you would be allowed access to these details without going to France directly and visiting their showroom. One of the really unique things that we're offering is the opportunity to have a custom pattern done for you. Now it's not full bespoke because in order to have a, a, a technically full bespoke glove, Le Vrai Cadet would want to be doing a trial glove for you. So this is more of kind of like a, a petite monsieur or a semi-bespoke program. So there's going to be uh, two steps that we ask that everyone participating in this program can the first one is measuring the width of your hand. Now, the PDF document that we're going to send you, it comes with a tape measure that you can cut out. And so what we're going to ask is that you measure each hand, right? Because again, uh, each glove's pattern is going to be cut specifically uh, for you. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape measure and we want you to measure around your knuckles, okay? So you take this tape measure around your knuckles and you're going to kind of hold it here and then we want you to close your wrist or close your fist, right? Because we wanna know what is the widest that your knuckles are gonna be uh, closed. So if you look at this right here, you know, my measurement is eight and a half inches on the left hand, right? So then you would do the same for the right. And again, it's really helpful if you just kind of use your thumb here to hold the tape measure, loop it around, hold it again, and then clench your fist, right? And this is a great example. Normally your dominant hand is gonna be slightly larger, so my right hand measures a full half inch larger than my left, it's a nine at nine inches, right? So I'm gonna write that down, 9.0 is right, okay? And then the next step is to do a, uh, a hand tracing. What you wanna do is place your hand on the piece of paper, Hold your pencil or pen at a 90 degree angle, perpendicular to the paper, and then just trace all the way around, right? So don't tilt your pen. And really what we're measuring here is the width of your fingers, the relative length of your fingers. And it actually might be a good idea to take your wedding band off. Um, and the overall shape of your hand. So I've got my left hand right there. And then I'm gonna connect that dot. Um, and then let's see, so the size and the measuring tape, so I wrote that down, so this is my left hand. It's 8.5 inches. They're asking for centimeters, but the, the Altaïe can actually do that conversion. And then your right hand. So again, it's actually better if you do this yourself instead of asking someone else to do it because we just need this to be consistent. So again, hold the pencil at a perpendicular angle to the paper and then trace around your fingers. And the most important thing here really is that you're consistent from hand to hand. That's why we ask the same person, preferably you, do the tracing on both hands because we actually find that um, the customer is actually able to do it better for himself than asking someone else to do it uh, for them width of my right hand was 9.0, right? So I've got that written down. There we go. So my hand is traced, right? And so you'd mail these back to us here at the Hangar Project. We're actually going to compile them all together, uh, staple them together with the details of your order, and either myself or someone from my team will reach out to you to go over those details. And then we're actually going to physically send these uh, to the atelier uh, in France uh, for them to go off of the original copies uh, when developing your patterns. If you have any questions about these gloves, feel free to contact customer service. We're gonna be accepting orders for a period of two weeks. You know, outside of going to Paris and having uh, a meeting with La Vraie Cadet, you know, at their showroom, uh, this is as close to bespoke that you're gonna be able to get and really have some absolutely fantastic access to just some incredible gloves made for you from your hand tracing and it's a very exciting for us at The Hangar Project to be able to offer this to you. So if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below. We're gonna keep this special uh, project open for two weeks. You'll get a few emails from us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact customer service uh, and we'll be more than happy to answer those questions. If you have any special requests, you can make those also, uh, but we are gonna try to limit this 
to be relatively narrow in scope just to make it manageable. And uh, there we are, Levet Cadet, uh, you know, one of the best glove makers in the world, uh, made in France. And, uh, you know, this is pretty exciting. So if you have any questions, let us know. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes.